Okay, Eric Williams, I want to thank you for having this interview with Profile Magazine. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? And we're here for the premiere of Whatever It Takes. Yes, we are. Okay. So let me tell you, so start telling us a little bit about yourself and how you started acting. What made well, you get the acting bug? What made you get the acting bug? I was already um, creative as a kid. I had that little crazy imagination. I used to imagine I was a bus driver and, you know, and I used to try to call myself an MC. And Norman, Norman Lindu made that change. Another movie that I, I started or, or I had a, a job at doing it anyway. But um, he called me for a part and told me that was only a small part. And when I read for the small part, I heard that they might be open for a big part. And I, went, and I, and I just I caught the theme. But once I started reading the script, I became that character and I loved it. I like to become the next character. Yeah. So then, did you do any research? Um, on this role? Not really, because um, Mike really, basically, is similar to me. He's a, a family man. He takes care of his family. He's a hardworking man. The only thing I'm a little blue collar in real life. And he's more of a, a white collar. Okay. But I really didn't have to do too much research. Okay. So now, what advice would you like to offer to the next upcoming first talent? They said, okay, maybe they, they were start they did an audition and maybe that audition didn't go well. And or maybe they did do something and the film didn't go as far as this film did. Okay. What advice would you give to them? Keep grinding. Because, you know, it happens differently for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some people can be a walk on success on on an overnight success and then some people can be it takes years, you know, uh, case in point, Samuel Jackson or Morgan Freeman, it took the brothers years, but they hit it big when they made it. Just keep grinding. I'm, I'm still grinding. You know, I can recall several in, um, auditions where I just flopped. And then I can recall several auditions where I, where I was like, yeah, I aced it. I didn't get a call back. So just keep grinding. That's what okay, now, there, I've interviewed a couple of people, some actors and things like that. So now some of them say they have the, um, the bug for like being behind the film. Like, the person behind the, you know, film and everything. Yeah. So do you see yourself as that, or you just want to be in front of the camera? Well, to me, directing is like being a head coach of a, a NFL or NBA team. I think it's a lot of headache, you mm -hmm. know. But you do get yourself, you do have yourself saying, "Damn, you know, I wish." Anyway, you, know, <laughs> you say, "You know, I want to do that because you start having ideas. The more you learn, the more you enter the industry, and the more you learn, it's like you have ideas, mm -hmm. and you say, well, I could have put it, I could have did it this way or that way.' But I be myself." I see myself more as a producer. Okay. Just the one with the backing and putting everything together mm -hmm. and everybody else do I can't do the nighttime cut and the editing and I can't do that. It's like a coach. I can't do that. I'm more in So now who inspired you? Uh, actors, uh, the Lynch Tate. Okay. Uh, so I can see St. Denzel and St. They were all, they're all mm -hmm. great. But my favorite is the Lynch Tate. Don Cheadle and Johnny Depp is my dude. Mm -hmm. uh, I love everything he does and um, Robert Downey Jr. Okay. Wow. So now, do you would you only want to be in film, or would you like to cross over yes. into TV? Or well, I would love. Years ago, people would say they didn't want to do TV because they didn't want to be typecast as a uh, certain character. But now, with this recession and everything, it's different because you have some TV stars that's making as much as movie stars, mm -hmm, you know, true. because everybody can't get the twenty million dollar check and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I would love to go where, wherever I get, I get in my fitting, TV, movies, or theater. But I would love, to, I would love to do theater, but I just don't have the time right now because it takes a commitment. But I would love to do theater. Okay, so now, what do you want to say to the audience about whatever it takes? What is the message you want to convey? As far as to get them to come out to come see the film. Come see the film to support me, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about that. Those are my people, those are my family. But seriously, come see the movie. Uh, we put a lot of hard work into it. And, uh, it's a great story. I just come see for yourself. Just come to support. You know, we need, we need support black cinema in you know, sure. so just come support. Well, thank you from Profile Magazine, and good luck to you. Thank you. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.